Do we have any caramel lovers out there, like serious caramel lovers? Well, today I have a dessert for you. This is a quick and easy one bowl layered dessert that is stuffed with caramel and melted chocolate. It is ooey and gooey and absolutely delicious. Hi, I'm Lindsay from My Better Batch, and today we're gonna make oatmeal chocolate caramel bars, also known as caramelitas. Let's get baking. Who doesn't love a dessert that keeps the preparation and the dirty dishes to a minimum? Heck, we are not even gonna get out our mixer for this one. Every time I make this dessert, people absolutely love it. This dessert is gonna look like you spend a ton of time in the kitchen, but I promise it will not take a lot of time to make. We're gonna focus today on quick, easy, and absolutely delicious. Let's get started. In a large mixing bowl, we're just gonna add all of our dry ingredients. Yep, it is that simple. This is our two cups of all-purpose flour, two cups of quick cooking oats, one and a half cups of light brown sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of baking soda. We're gonna melt two sticks of butter and go ahead and add it right to our dry ingredients. Just give it a stir with a spatula or a wooden spoon to fully incorporate all of the ingredients. Your dough should look like this. I think the hard part's complete. Place half of your dough into a 9 by 13 inch baking dish and press the dough firmly into the bottom. I've used a parchment lined dish or you can grease the bottom of your pan. Go ahead and throw that dish into a 350 degree oven for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, go ahead and pull your dish out of the oven and add your 20 ounces of caramel sundae syrup and two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. This is the whole bag of chocolate chips. Now we're gonna cover the entire surface with the caramel and chocolate. I like to add the caramel first, just like this. You don't have to add the entire container, although you may be glad that you did. Once your caramel is drizzled over the entire surface, go ahead and top with your chocolate chips. The final step of our caramelita is to top our cookie bar with the remaining cookie dough. While we press the dough into the bottom of the dessert, we are just gonna crumble the remaining dough over the entire surface of the top. Once your caramelita looks like this, go ahead and place your dish back into that 350 degree oven for about 18 to 20 minutes. We wanna give that chocolate a chance to fully melt and the cookies a chance to fully bake. I just pulled our caramelita out of the oven. It looks delicious. You can see the chocolate in there. Some of that caramel has bubbled up around the outside edge. I cannot wait for this to cool. We're gonna let it cool for about an hour um, before we slice into it to serve. All right, so we let our caramelita fully cool and now we're ready to cut it. I just pulled it because I had that parchment paper in there. I just pulled the entire thing off with the parchment paper, placed it on my cutting board and now is the moment of truth. <laughs> we are going to cut it into squares. So I might have lied when I told you that the hardest part about making this recipe was mixing up the dough. The hardest part is really waiting for the caramelita to fully cool so that you can dig into it and enjoy. And that process takes about one to two hours. I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as we do in this house. I'm Lindsay from My Better Batch. As always, be sure to give us a like, hit the subscribe button, and I'm gonna get a taste before somebody else takes one of these middle pieces. Thanks for baking with me today.